All right, Shalom, one mock all praises, honor, glory goes to y'all, Bashem, Yahu Shai, Bashem, Rakak, Kodash, double honor. So, my apostles and elders, a great millstone, peace and blessings to you, fellow Akim out there pushing out this word of true sincerity. Basically, what I said in the Hebrew, Yahweh being the name of the Heavenly Father, and Yahweh Shai being the name of his son, these are the names that are, you know, eternally called God and Jesus Christ. You know, I just gave blessings. And the Holy Spirit, there were Kakwadash, you know, and double honors to my double honors to my apostles. Uh, basically, the men that have taught me, you know, I've taken this truth, and I've taught also, uh, others also, and continue to teach. So basically, I just want to go through a small lesson on, uh, you know, what's going on over there in Haiti, which the mainstream media is not covering. And basically, it's a, you know, a deadly uprising or a deadly protest. Uh, because they want they want the uh, the sitting president, you know, to 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 resign and get out of there because he promised them, you know, food on every on every plate and money in every hand to all the Haitian citizens, and they're not and they're not receiving none of those things. And people all around the world are starting to get hip to you, uh, politicians, those that are in um, power positions. How you lie how you steal, how you cheat, there's so much corruption. And the people at the bottom, you know, they suffer and then and they don't have a voice. Their voice is not heard. You know, so basically I wanna, we're not gonna go through this uh, article, but you know, this is just an article, Haiti government silent as deadly protests show no signs of ending. And now th I believe this started maybe two days ago. Today is a, the 14th, you know, and all these things are build up. You know, and, you know, American mainstream media, they're not going to cover these things. These things are being swept under the rug. Now, the reason why, you know, I want to bring this to, to light or to surface is because this all goes into, you know, biblical prophecy and proves to you that we're at the end of the world. Now, when I say the end of the world, the end of the world, meaning the end of this current rulership. OK, the rulership under the red Hebrew Edomite, because the reason why. Uh, Haiti is destabilized is because of the Red Hebrew Edomite, all right, the, the so-called white man. Okay, the re why do the, uh, the Haitians speak French? All right, because they were conquered by the French, Red Hebrew Edomites. And the French, they're doing good, okay? And the Haitians, all right, the tribe of Levi, they're doing bad. But what's going on now, see, the Heavenly Father's putting a crunch or the squeeze on you, uh, on you French also, who had a part of destabilizing you know uh destroying the whole government system of haiti you know bringing them into you know poverty extreme poverty and then when these uh non-governmental non-governmental organizations go over there these non-gmos what are non uh they call it non-government organizations ngos what are they going over there stifling money okay taking taking the resources from the people not giving them to uh the so-called haitian people now you know now the haitian people they are totally uh in an uprising now let me bring out this scripture and what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna play some videos and then i hit a couple of scriptures and then we'll get out of here so this is proverbs 29 2 when the righteous are in authority the people rejoice but when the wicked bear rule the people mourn now i'm not going to even break it down i'm just going to let you uh take a look at these videos okay his body lying near the presidential palace as angry crowds gather in protest. Hundreds have arrived from Haiti's slums to the capital of Port-au-Prince with a message for President Jovenel Moïse. Step down. Everyone in Haiti is asking for Jovenel to leave, but he refuses. We ask ourselves, does he want to die in power or does he want people to burn the country down? I'm in this situation because of President Jovenel Moise. I can't go to school. He's a thief and he must go. If not, we'll burn down the whole country. We're in the streets until he leaves. With Haiti suffering from a failing economy and skyrocketing inflation, President Moyes is being accused of systematic corruption. An official auditor's report in January implicated him in the embezzlement of funds. It also accused former ministers of a possible misuse of development money loaned by Venezuela. The government makes the budget just for them. 
This is not how you provide change. The government took the money and spent it on themselves, on people who don't deserve it. During his election campaign, Moise promised food on every plate and money in every pocket. We went to elections, a part of the population voted. Hey, just one thing, you can't trust a bald-headed nigga, man, okay, with no hair on his head and no hair on his face, okay? He is, um, you know, that's the image the Red Hebrew Edomite wants you, you so-called Negroes, to, you know, uh, push, you know, bald heads. When you go, when you go here and you, you look at this video, you see nothing but bald heads, which that's like against the scriptures, you know? I am president. I am ready to speak to all my brothers and sisters over the difficulties the country is facing. He's wearing a, a suit and tie, you know? He's not, he, he's, he's pretty much, um, he's pretty much a, 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 a black Hebrew Edomite, okay? He's pushing the, the, the agenda of the red Hebrew Edomite, the so-called white man. He wears his clothes. He makes sure he's decent looking. I right, know no beard, no hair on his head, tie. You know, I just want to throw that in. To my brothers and sisters in the opposition, the doors open so as to reach a solution. Since Moise's inauguration two years ago, inflation has risen to 15%. Bakeries have closed. People can't get a loaf of bread. Many people are calling the protests food riots, saying they can no longer live without the basics. The US has recalled all non-emergency personnel and the UN, Brazil and Western nations are calling on the government to engage in talks. So far, the president has remained silent, but the protesters say they will not stop until they get answers. Laura Bajamambi, Al Jazeera. And that's the temperature of the whole planet Earth, okay? People uprising wanted to get answers, okay? Because their, COVID, their, their current government system under this red Hebrew Edomite hegemony, okay? It's totally just uh, bankrupting the world, totally destroying the world. And particularly in these Israelite uh, communities, okay? Which this is uh, Haiti, okay? We all know the, the history of, on Haiti. All right, massive, massive killings, slavery, lynchings, okay, uprisings. You know, so this is the reason why this place is uh, all messed up now. Which this is, you know, twofold. This is also the, you know, the judgment of the Heavenly Father upon his own people. You know, let's play some more video. Where's all the humanitarian aid, man? Okay. Where's all the humanitarian aid? All right. Uh, the U.S. The, the rich elite they have enough money to build up this place, but that's not that's not their purpose. This is not what they want to do. They want to uh, destabilize. Okay, regimes. They want to destabilize the world. So, you know, people can be on the brink of, uh, you know, tapping out, giving up so they can come with their pseudo way of living. Or here's the mark of the beast. Or here's this. You know, the reason why you're not you're not prospering because you're not living like us. You got to you got to tune into the system. OK. And this is basically what's happening all around the world. OK. In, in all these countries. OK. Look, look what's happening in Venezuela, which you already know uh, the red Hebrew Edomite. He has his dirty red hand. Oh, okay, in this. His hand is everywhere, causing causing mischief.
to change and reverse and the benefit of the communities. This is the very reason why today the Jews to invade the, the street in order for the government to understand the people tired of them. pretty much get the gist of it let me uh bring this scripture back out proverbs 29 2 when the righteous are in authority the people rejoice but when the wicked bear rule the people mourn well you will say well there's <coughs> there's black people in rule all right no that's not that's not the case there might be so-called um job it might be a so-called black man that's in rulership but who's really uh controlling him Who's really the leaders of this world? Okay, the Red Hebrew Edomite. Are right, they? They're the ones who create policies. They're the ones who uh, uh, can can overthrow governments. Can Haiti overthrow a government? No. Or right, they can uprise, but they can't go around into a foreign government like America can and overthrow the government or to plant um, agents. You know, secret agents. Who can who can do this? Who has the who has the resources to do this? Okay, America. Under the spearhead of the so-called Jew. This is uh Job 9:24. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covers the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? So it says when the people, you know, when a, when the righteous are on authority, the people rejoice, but when the wicked bear rule, the people mourn. And mourning is happening all around the earth because we're in the beginning of sorrows. We're in the end, we're at the end of the rulership of the Red Hebrew Edomite. Okay, his his rulership is is ended, and he is a man that uh, lived by the sword. So, you know, he's going to be put out, and he's going to die by the sword. Okay, that flaming sword, that fiery flaming sword. Okay, let me bring out. You know, I'm gonna just read this scripture. I'm sorry, it's up. It's nine. I'm gonna read this scripture, and then we'll 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 end it off. You know, this is a uh, second address nine and one. He answered me and said, measure thou the time diligently in itself and when thou seest parts of the signs pass, which I have told thee before, then shalt thou understand that is the very same time when the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. Therefore, when thou, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world, are we not seeing uproars of the people in the world? Or right, this is a, a, 
you know, this is a, a clear definition or clear uh, example of, of uprisings in the world. And this is not just an isolated instance, okay? I wanted to get uh I want to get a synonym of a protest. It says a statement or action expressing disapproval of or objecting to something. What the current rulership? Because what? It's not it's not for the people. Uh it uh, it uh takes advantage of the people. This is the spirit of the red Edomite that he has pushed on the whole world to where he has also pushed this upon our people. So they uh, they act as such, you know, let's go back. Uh, verse four, then then thou shalt well understand that the most high spake of those things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning, for like as all that is made in the world has a beginning and an end. And the end is manifest. Okay, let's look, at, let's look at this word manifest. Word manifest. Manifest. Clear or obvious to the eye or mind. See? It's very obvious, okay, that we're at the end of the, the, the rulership of the so-called white man. Okay, let me bring out one more scripture because we're at the end of the world. This is something that you hear a lot, but I just want to, you know, uh, make sure we know that the earth is going to abide <clears throat> forever, as the scriptures say. One. Ecclesiastes 1 and 4, one generation passeth away and another generation cometh, but the earth abideth forever. Yes, the earth that abideth forever. You know, since I said that, let's just bring out this last scripture. In Second Ezra six, you know, because you know the Lord has given us clear signs of you know the end of this rulership, okay, and uh, uprisings will be one of them, okay, and these are uprisings throughout all the world. You see, these things are springing up, okay. You have France, you have uh, uh, ha Haiti, you have uprisings in America, you have uprisings in the Middle East, you have uh, oh you have uprisings in all these different countries. You know, and these things are going to be, you know, uh, brought to your attention more and more as the days come, as the days uh, come closer to the end of this place. Let me just go right to the point. This is Second Ezra 6 and 9. For Esau is the end of the world and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. And what's, what's going on is people are starting to see that Jacob is the innocent. Okay. Jacob being the Israelites, the black Hispanic Native Americans, we, we haven't done anything to you, you Edomites. You know, we sin against our power. OK, so he brought us he brought uh, enemies over us. Right. But now the Lord, he's he's dealing with us now again, the, the remnant. And we are uh, we are blameless before our accuser of our brother. You know, the the, the red Hebrew Edomite that accuses us. OK, but he's being exposed for being that that man of sin. He's being exposed for being that uh that that person that goes around the earth causing mischief and destroying nations. So, you know, that that was it on the on the lesson. Hope you hope you you know your listeners, your brothers were uh, edifying until next time. I want to say shalom to the elect.